in this episode, victory or we will die trying. Well, it's really nasty out there. It's really howling. We do need to get some rest and uh, it's like noon. So what I think I want to do is I want to try to grab. I'm trying to go. I'm probably since we don't have to climb any mountains, don't have to climb any ropes or anything like that. I'm going to try to get about half rested and we'll see where we're at there. See what the weather's like and go from there. But if we we have, let me show you the time here. We got two days, one hour, five minutes. So we got about 29 hours, or I'm sorry, 49 hour, hours to get there. And uh, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and bed down here. Sounds sounds like it's super cold in here, but it's not. So don't let that fool you. It looks like we should be getting a lot of uh, wind coming in through there, but we're, we're okay. So let's go ahead and eat. Um, let's just stuff ourselves here. Yeah, might as well just finish off this MRE, right? This one, yeah. There we go. Maybe drink a soda or two if we have those. I'm not sure if we even still have those. Let me check here. I was meaning to get out a episode every other day, but yesterday I was just like miserable. I was so congested and everything. So I got myself straightened out here and uh, feeling much better now. So it should be a little bit better quality. So I don't think we need to drink any more there. And we will recover all our conditions. So we'll just save all that in case we need it. What's our weight at anyway? 26. Oh, yeah, we're good. Chip. We got five of these rocks. I'm going to drop a few of these. There we go. Should drop us down. Yeah, we're down to 25 now. All right, let's go ahead and uh, grab some sleep here. I'm going to go for about. Uh, yeah, let's just go for. Uh, you know what? Let's just fill up our sleep. See where we're at. Yeah, it's going to be the middle of the night, but that's okay. We can, we can travel at night as long as it's a nice, clear night and no fog. I'll feel comfortable about that. We have plenty of ammunition. So. Blizzard? No blizzard. Blizzard. Okay. Let's go ahead and pick this up. It looks dark out there. Let's take a look and see what it looks like. Man, I could use a drink. That's not the best, but uh, I do have an idea how we go, so not too worried about it. Uh, let's take a look. Two degrees Celsius. You really can't beat that. So we're just going to move. And uh, hopefully it clears up a little bit. At least we can see those trees off in the distance there, the tops of those trees. So as long as we can see, you know, that far away, we're, we should be all right. So I could stick to the top route here, or I'm, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to drop down to the uh, to the road, then go across to the lake and just follow the lake around because it's wide open there. And there's not going to be many surprises that can really sneak up on us. So what we'll do here is we'll just uh, let me take a look here, see what my bandage situation is. I got two bandages. Good. Yeah, this is my part that makes me a little nervous right here. Just don't want to. Wish I could just like slow myself. Ugh. Of course. I was say I wish I could slow myself down and guarantee I don't sprain my ankle. You know, like go into uh, super careful mode. But uh, so much for that. All right. Well, if we get into a jam, we'll just we'll shoot our way out. I could just rest down here for a couple hours. I wanted to. We got one day, 14 hours, and change. So I like our odds. I think we're going to do all right. And there is sometimes a wolf that lurks around this particular cabin. But I'm just going to dip inside here and uh, bandage myself up. I just plan on shooting my way out of any type of jam we get into. So, or not a cabin, but trailer. I guess it is, really. Well, I guess there's a cabin here, but it's boarded up. That's not the one I was thinking of, to be honest. To be totally transparent, I was thinking of this. And a quick word from our series sponsor, NordVPN. Do you want to have extra privacy and flexibility while online? Sure, we all do. NordVPN is the leader in internet privacy and allows added flexibility by routing your internet traffic through any of their over 5,400 servers in 60 countries through an extremely intuitive and efficient user interface. In addition, you can access specialty servers for added security such as Double VPN, Onion Over VPN, or P2P VPN servers. But for a casual user like myself, I personally use their proprietary NordLynx protocol for maximum speed. But wait, there's more, such as Kill Switch to automatically turn off your internet if the connection to the VPN server is lost. 
Or how about this? Split tunneling, which only routes certain application traffic to the NordVPN server. There are so many other useful features to explore, and if you are interested, use the link nordvpn.com forward slash accurize2 and the promo code ACK2 for additional savings. Link in the description below. I believe that cabin's always boarded up. I don't think it matters. All right. I thought I reloaded the rifle. Huh, maybe I didn't. All right, let's see what we got here. A light shell. We don't need that. Well, this Ball cap. Handy. No, it won't. Don't lie to yourself now. All right. I'll take that jerry can, and you know what? We'll just uh, go ahead and refill our lantern while it's lit. That seems, that seems nice and safe. Let's do that. Top it off, and then we'll just drop the... Uh, the jerry can. There we go. Okay. Oh, we got a salsa soda. So let's go ahead and just drink that. So we're getting a little thirsty anyway. Up our calorie count a little bit too. And another one. We'll just drink that as well. And let's see what these sardines look like. Ooh, those look dangerous. 33%. No, thank you. Come all this way just to get poisoned. Okay, well, let's see. I'm going to make sure I don't pass any boxes of ammunition. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and put this down here and bandage myself up. I'm not too worried about the pain. I guess I have 10 of those. I might as well just use it. Okay, let's do that. I'm going to take these pills and I'm going to tell them exactly where I want to, uh, what part of my body I want them to affect. <laughs> Alright, well, let's see here. Alright, so I'm just going to head over this way and uh, get on out of here. We'll head on over to this uh, transition zone, which is not a safe one. It is a dangerous one. There are wolves. We'll probably have to bust a, bust a couple caps and some wolves furry behinds. Before the before this video is over, before the series is over, All right, I guess I go this way. Is this the right way to go? Oh no, I don't really don't. I guess I can just walk on top of the Lord the log sword here. Kind of. Oh, can I? Well, let me actually get back up on there. Just gonna act like it's too too high for me to climb. Oh, it does. Okay. I don't normally play on the logs, so kind of forgot how that went. Alright, we'll check out this. Okay, so that wolf howling's over in that general direction over there somewhere. Middle of the night. No worries. Alright, let's take a look here at this uh, little fishing hut. See what we got. Another soda, I'll take that. Just drink that. Right on up. There we go. Okay, feeling much better. And we got rifle cartridge. Cool. Not really sure what I'm looking for over here, but I'm kind of liking the fact that... Let's go ahead and do that reload. There we go. Okay. So. Alright, let's head kind of this direction. And we'll see what happens. <laughs> that was loud. I see another... Uh, fishing hut right out this way so I'm just going to kind of fishing hut hop at this point I think there's one over there's one over there as well and then we should be kind of close to the uh, uh, misanthropes island is that it there's jackrabbit and misanthrop I can't remember which one's which it's been a while since I've lived lived on uh, coastal spending time here so kind of getting things Mixed up a little bit. I can see a little bit of the island if I go that way. Yeah, that's right. It's like right there. Yeah. All right. I kind of want to, kind of want to head out this way. I think. Head out to see you a little bit. So we'll do that. We'll head out this way. Things get real bad. We can always jump up on the island and seek shelter in one of the. Uh, one of the cabins. There's a, oh, there's a wolf right there. It's right there. 
see him pretty good with that fisheye effect over on the left side of the screen there. This weather does make me a little bit nervous, but luckily this is a pretty easy region to navigate. Kind of blindly, you know. I don't want to leave that behind. Here. No need for the herbals. No need for the herbal rem remedies. Is that another rifle round? It is. It's another rifle round up there. I want to leave that all behind. Okay, so we got another one. And there's a knife there if I needed one, but I don't. So, okay. So, I see that. I think. Yeah, it's Jackrabbit. Is it? No, probably wrong. Whatever I'm saying it is, is probably the opposite. Alright, we're going to go over to this. Uh, over to this fishing hut directly in front of us. Looks like the snow's kind of starting to just never mind. As soon as I said that it started the wind sound like it was kicking up. So we have a uh, cabin up here we can run to if uh, the weather gets incredibly scary. Sometimes there's a bear that lives in a, one of these. I think it's like right over here, right there. It's a bear cave. But normally he's out and about. Normally not home. So just something to be aware of. As I probably strafe right into his jaws, but Okay. Wanna eat this candy bar? Oh, revolver ammo. We don't need that. No, we won't. We won't take that. Dog food. I'm not really that hungry, so... <laughs> I'm, not, I'm starting to get picky now. Alright, don't need that either. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Well, I'll be dipped. You guys tell what, what I've been watching lately. <laughs> My coworkers got me started watching... Let me know in the comments. Who says that? I'll give you a clue. Another clue. Sparkleators. Yeah, it's looking good. At least the wind's uh, at our back. So this is what I'm talking about. Yeah, this is how you travel right here. So it's starting to feel a little colder now that the uh, the fog and all that sort of insulative atmosphere has left. That's all right. That's that's all right. So we got one uh, cabin up here that hasn't been burned down. Maybe two. I see a roof of another one. If it hasn't been boarded up, I'm not sure. But we can dip in here if we uh, we needed to. So this is now going to be... we got two safe spots to run to, depending on what direction. The directionality of a threat, right? So I was uh, with my little one. Seven years. She just turned seven. Is that, a, is that the bear? What is that? A deer. That's a deer. Couldn't tell if that was a moose, bear, deer, and then it turned. And I'm like, is that the moose or the deer? But yeah, she just turned seven. She's getting amazing grades. We got a wolf here. We'll probably end up having to shoot. I don't know if I really want to wait for him. Yeah, we got two of them. And they're crossing paths, so. We'll just uh, aggro them. I'll run inside, and then we'll see what happens after we get out. Okay, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. But uh, she really wants to be a veterinarian. She's got the grades for it. And the, the smarts for it, so. Anyway, sat down with her and, uh, it's like, she's really enthusiastic about school. Like, really. And, uh, she gets a lot of pleasure out of being, you know, she wants to come home and immediately do her homework and read and do extra pages, extra work and stuff like that. So, anyway, I sat down and watched, uh, Gifted Hands with her and, uh, she was enthralled. I was kind of surprised because it's a little technical, medically technical, but... Um, overall, I took both of those, by the way. So, yeah, she was enthralled all the way through to the very end. And then she announced about, where was it, about halfway through, she's like, I want to go to Yale Medical School. <laughs> like, okay, well, if you get good enough grades, you, you can maybe get a scholarship to it. And you're going to have to do a lot of extra work to set okay. yourself apart, but okay. she can... Uh, Oh, she can do it. She puts her mind to it. Like if, 
That's what it comes to. We'll figure out a way. <laughs> even if we can't, even if scholarship doesn't have a way, we'll figure it out a way. <laughs> even if we have to uh, go live in a trailer or something. But yeah, that was pretty cute. She saw that and she's like, I want to go to, I want to go to Yale Medical School. Seven years old. Huh. All right. What have we here? Daddy and me wants her to stay closer to home, though. I want her to go off. Pick a school that does, uh... Still come in handy. Pick a school that does some, uh... Your residency at Cleveland Clinic or something. Let's, let's do that. <laughs> See if we can do that. That way I... At least, at least I can go catch a Browns game if, if uh... Oh! hey oh, I didn't miss that one. Uh, I'm just gonna leave that. That's and we're so we're at the point where it doesn't really matter. I just need to keep moving here. I don't even know why I'm really looting this place. I guess it's just habit. Can use this. Thick wool sweater. Ooh. I think we might actually throw that one on. Let me see what we got here. Oh, we've already got one. Worn and decent wool shirt. Which was better? Probably the sweater if I repaired it, but I'm not gonna bother. So yeah, I know this one's better, but I'm not gonna bother wasting the time to repair it. So let's just get going. I don't even care for the rest of this stuff. Well, let's just move on while the weather's good. I think I think the weather window is more important than continuing the loot. So, um, yeah, we might get a stem out of here, but we have like a million of them. So, well, this stuff is no, I'll handy. take that energy bar though. Let's see if we can find a stem. Okay, let's go. I'm not worried about searching everything. Got ourselves some more rifle ammo, and we might need it here in a, in a second. So, let's go ahead and leave the house. We got the rifle at the ready. All right. Oh, and then she wanted to watch, um, <laughs> she wanted to actually watch a real brain surgery. And I was like, um, okay. So I found, uh, we ended up watching, um, what was it Hopkins? That like six part documentary series. It's kind of like cops, except inside Hopkins, Johns Hopkins. Anyway, that's. That's what I've been doing while I've been recuperating. All right, back to back to survival here. How are we doing here? One day, eleven hours, fifty-four minutes. All right, I don't know. Maybe this is going to end up being a shorter episode if we kind of keep moving here. The last thing I want to have happen is, for some reason, getting snowed in. I, I'm pretty sure I could just fumble my way to the lighthouse. It's not... It's pretty linear from this point on. Definitely one of the more familiar... Excuse me. Couple couple familiar... Uh, oh, I dropped my pry bar a long time ago. Familiar regions here. So this isn't one of the newer ones. I think there's something on the floorboard. That's ah, a fire cleaning kit. There was a... No, I'm going to leave that behind. More. I guess I'll take the beef jerky. Not that it matters. Okay. Off we go. Commuter's Lament. Yes, 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 yes. All right. Let's head on over here to the... Tra uh, transition zone here and there it's not a safe one like i said crumbling highway there's it's pretty tight you honestly almost are almost guaranteed to have some sort of aggro with wolves but uh, it's not very big so it doesn't take long to get through yeah i felt like yesterday if i was playing it but nothing but me sounded weird weirder than normal and uh snorting and sniffling a lot i was just completely congested completely locked up but feeling a lot better now got some sinus cold medicine in me should be the non-drowsy kind if I just suddenly stop and you hear snoring in the background you'll know that uh, somehow I misread the label alright let's go I'm just going to go as the crow flies I'm not going to try to go sort of the side like I'm just going to stay on the, the road whatever comes we'll just shoot our way through got so much ammo this point 
probably gonna be a bullet inside this mailbox. I want to check just a bit. Don't check. Make sure. Let's take a look. Anything? Nope. Not today. Abandoned Harris home. That's a good spot. If you needed to run up it. Uh, I can't remember. Did they did they make it so the wolves can actually get up these things now or? Oh, we can't really can't get up there, can you? Nope, kind of have it blocked. Those limbs. And they all go on vacation? I jinxed myself by saying that, didn't I? phone cup over my ear there so I can when they start growling I can't see them at least I can locate them I'm expecting to have contact here any second alright can't remember how to get over here oh, I gotta climb up over this yeah maybe we'll see See what happens. Yep, stay on, stay on, stay on. Don't, don't you go falling off on me. Come on, let me up there. Ah, I just want to cross over. All right, whatever. <laughs> we'll just go this way. Making a big deal out of nothing, honestly. Well, I was, a, I was telling you how dangerous the zone was, and basically making a liar out of me. So far, yeah, we're to the point where I think I could just outrun it. Unless it happens right in front of us. And there's a... Oh, there's a rabbit. See him? Right there. He's standing up. Like, at attention, you know. When their ears go up real high. We got in here. Nothing. Nothing that I can see. I ain't gonna bother with... Oh, we could go that way, but... I think I wanna go this way instead. Because I don't think there's anything that way. <laughs> this is the cave we need. We need to come over this way. How's this temp doing? Negative nine degrees, feels like. What's the air actual temperature? Oh, okay, it's actually 22, negative 22 degrees. Celsius. So people are asking me, can we go back to freedom units? And I'm like, ah, no, as soon as I do that, there'll be like a dozen people asking me to go back to a metric. And as soon as I do that, there'll be a dozen people asking me, asking me to go back to freedom units. So I just have to pick one and commit. And I'm gonna stick with this one. Probably a bad choice, since like 75% 70 of my audience is <laughs> United States, but we use metric here in the United States as well. I'll take it. It's not anything standardized, really. But, uh, all right, I don't know why I'm looting. <laughs> Who knows? Ball cap. I've seen so many ball caps in this series. There's been so many. Okay, well, let's get going. As long as I didn't accidentally drop my flare gun somewhere, which I didn't because I just saw it load in a second ago. What else? Uh, I think I was cycling through some of the stuff there. But Okay. Uh, which way? I think this way. Well, I thought for sure we were going to have to shoot our way through crumb Crumbling Highway. Uh, your results may vary based on, <laughs> compared to what I just uh, experienced there. Normally, it's a lot more violent, a lot more scary. And more, man, there's a lot of revolver rounds. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take that. Because once I fire the flare off, I want to be able to have a candy bar. I think I got I got a couple candy bars, so we, we just fine. I don't think it works like that, though. You can pretty much over and done with as soon as you fire the flare. Hey, a pry bar. A little bit too late. What you got? This will come new again. thermal underwear. That sounds good. I'm going to try that on. All about some new underwear. Even if it's not warmer. <laughs> well, let's uh, get rid of the uh, this one here. And let's go ahead and throw on the new stuff here. 
There we go. We're doing really good with our body temperature. Look at that. Oh, hold on. Where, where's it at? There we go. Warp bonus. Plus 20 degrees Celsius. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Oh, you know what? I don't know what series or what challenge I'm going to do next. I think I'm just, I'm trying to go right down that line of them. Uh, I can't remember what is next, though. That's the thing. Whatever it is, I'm looking forward to it. Try to get through these before the DLC releases, whatever that is. End of December, start of January, somewhere around in that area. I am going on vacation with the family from December 24th until the 29th or 30th, something like that. But uh, we're going to be out of town for, for a week there for Christmas vacation with the girls. So... If it, I know when it will release. It will release during that time because I won't be around to play it and all this. I'll be playing catch up as usual. So let's have another drink here and another uh, another uh, revolver around there. Oh, there's a rifle round though. Take that here in a second. I think I can use. Yeah, this. we'll take payments. Once we get back to civilization, we'll sell them on the street for a tidy profit. All right, let's see what's going on outside the mine. mine. Is it daytime yet? Have we? Nope, still dead at night. Yeah, let's go ahead and turn this off. Desolation point. Here we come. All right. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna go that way. I'm just gonna go this way. Okay, I probably can't make it down if they have this rope thing. Yeah, they probably have it so I can't make it down without breaking a neck, a neck or two. I can so easily make it down there. I don't know. That looks like it might actually like cut underneath of there and then I might not be able to. All right, let's go around. That would be a really horrible way to end with it. Like, oh yeah, I can get down there and then like, uh oh, what if I could go this way? Probably, but I'll probably break a, a or snap an ankle or whatever. Sprain an ankle. Let's just go this way. I know. I'm sorry. I'm being boring. I'm going the safe, safe route, which really isn't that much longer at all. If yeah, it's probably about the same, honestly. With all my contemplating and all that. Feels like negative three degrees Celsius, so kind of warmed up a little bit. Still cold enough to eventually kill us, but it's going to be a very slow process. And uh, yeah, it's a beautiful night, so shooting a flare in the air is going to be kind of cool. A lot better to shoot the flare at night, right? All right, well, let's head on down this way. We're almost there, guys. We are almost there. This is going to be a shorter episode, I think. Unless I end up in some sort of crazy me against the world of wolves. Running gun battle. Tower defense situation. Ah, this, this is kind of going to be a nice, nice way to end it here with this beautiful clear night. So it's not like a blizzard. It's not foggy. It's not daytime. This is kind of what I, what I was hoping for. They're all ahead of me. So there's still a chance that I get into a another shootout with some wolves. Time will do. There's the lighthouse right there. How we doing? Oh, we got a day and change to spare. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't have made it <laughs> with uh, the way I had started initially and before I re remembered there was a counter. I had spent like a day and a half, two days just <laughs> goofing around Mystery Lake, just gearing myself to the nines. All right. Really? Kind of, kind of hoping that I would have a shootout with a wolf, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Could be one down here or one on the other side that gets aggro here in a second. Oh, there he is. And he's down, and this one should scare away. 
Yeah, I hear him whimpering. He heard the death throes of his brother in arms or in teeth. He also heard the bark of my 303. Guaranteed to be the alpha dog out in the wilderness. Is he still running? Where's he at? Yeah, he's all the way over there now. That's where he went off to. So he reset. It's funny how they get brave with enough distance. Oh, this is going to be a pretty night. Well, we got to go to the top to fire it off. So let's head on in and uh, yeah, it's going to be a shorter episode, but that's okay. That is okay. We've had longer episodes. We've had shorter episodes. In this case, we have a very short. So right there is the Riken. For those of you that have never been on this map, it's a ship you can actually explore. And then um, back there is a church. Yep. And then if I go over this way, there's the the processing plant. Right where those all those that wooden like uh dock dock structures are or whatever. That's pretty large. That's really good for loot. And then you have the obviously the lighthouse where we're at right now. That's pretty much it. I mean then there's a there's a cave system that kinda goes back behind there and then goes kinda where we started. I don't know if you noticed it on the left when we first came in down this main road. There was like a entrance to a the cave system it runs back through here but just be aware that fluffy can spawn in there it's like the one place where a wolf can spawn in not guaranteed but from what i understand but uh can happen so all right be prepared ready to drop a lantern and ready to drop a lantern and uh on the ground and uh get your rifle ready so the tactic is this right here so you, you hear the wolf Place that down, then you press um, two, bring up your rifle, and then get ready to shoot. And then when the wolf shows itself, Fluffy shows himself, you shoot him, and then you pick up your lantern again. So we'll just uh, equip this. Uh, let's see what we got here. So we got a little time here. Beef jerky. Another box of rifle rounds, or uh, revolver rounds. I think if I'd gone revolver, um, I might have actually ended up with uh, more rounds that way. Oh, there we go. Some more street drugs. Awesome. Well, this more matches. Come in handy. Work well? No, thank you. We'll leave those for the next poor hapless survivor. All right. I'll eat these on up. Pro I didn't even look at the condition. They're probably like 10%. <laughs> it's probably like going to make me go, Ugh, I'm so sick right now. Not thirsty. All right. A couple herbal tea. What do we got here? Note left behind. Let you guys go ahead and read that. Thank you, backer 644. All right. Well, I've procrastinated long enough. I guess I gotta go up here. Still gotta search everything on the way up. Yeah. Another firearm cleaning kit. Ooh. Two locked uh, ones, yeah. That's our weight at now. Just curious, because I've been picking up quite a bit. Yeah, 30. Okay. We're still good. More ketchup chips. All right, let's head on up here. How are we doing? One day, eight hours, 40 minutes. All right, well, let's head on out here. Around. All right, guys. Well, this is it. This is going to be it. All right. There she goes. Hopeless rescue. Five days, 15 hours, 25 minutes. Ah, not too bad. Let's go ahead and confirm that. And we'll take a look, see what the next series is going to be here in a couple days. <laughs> Started me over here, but that's okay. Yeah.
We're not doing this again. Let me go ahead and uh, quit out here. I don't know why it just starts you over. It should take you back to the main menu. I would think. Alright. So. Let's see. Hopeless rescue. Hunted. I guess we're going to do whiteout. A monster blizzard is on the way. Will you be ready when it arrives? The storm arrives in 30 days. Stockpile enough food, water, and supplies in the coastal highway quads at garage before it hits. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess we'll start with that one next. Then after that, we'll do Nomad. Survive three days in each, it, it, each in 15 specific locations around the game world. So that one's a, a four hatchet. This one's a three hatchet. Archivist, during the Aurora, collect buffer memories from across Great Bear Island and at the locations listed in your journal. That's a three hatchet. As the dead sleeps. This is the one I'm terrified of. We'll save this one for last because, well, I'm procrastinating because I'm terrified of it. The world has changed, but there's a chance for one last journey before the cold sets in. Walk the path, visit the graves, and make things right before the end. Visit all the, gra all the grave sites marked on your map. There is no time limit. As your life ebbs, death is the only barrier. So as you lose, you can't regenerate your life. You can't recover health, apparently. So as you take condition hits and health hits, it, they're permanent. I'm nervous about that one. And I've already done this one, so that one's uh, available down in the uh, playlist if you want to see that one. All right, so I'll see you guys in Whiteout. Thank you so much for watching. Y'all take care. Stay warm. And uh, look out for one another.